from Sydney naked. Um, hello to Shu as well. Uh, Breakfast Ripple for him on Twitter at Gadio if you'd like to join in uh, this morning. But now, mm. yeah, oh, yeah, let's go fashion. Yeah. Oh right, I've got it now. Yeah, it's my weekly challenge. Which is to become a stylist. Now, um, I'm feeling just a little bit nervous about this, but there's mm. a man here who's going to make, hopefully, he's going to ease all my fears. Please wel- welcome, it's Jordan McDowell. <laughs> Jordan, what a lovely oh, yeah, name. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> lovely Now, name. Jordan, this is a bit embarrassing, but I just want to get it out of the way before we start. We haven't been on a date, have we? No. Okay, that's good. <laughs> right. <Phew. laughs> Do you oh. know what? There was a moment when Awkward. you walked in, right, this morning, and I went, oh, oh I no. think I might have been on a date with him a couple of years ago. <laughs> but it's just someone who looked very much like you, Jordan. Oh, anyway, maybe he's just intense. forgotten. Maybe you're so forgettable yeah. that one day. <laughs> anyway, it, it wasn't a great day. I had to make an emergency phone call, so I was really worried that oh, it was you. No, but I'm a great day. I'm sure, yes. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I'm I'm glad we've got that out of the way. Um, so, Jordan, hello. Hello. Now, you are a big stylist. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Um, well, according to Vogue, you're an upcoming talent, wow. aren't you? Naturally, yes. That was lovely of Vogue. So, so, wow. so, so what's this? What did Vogue say? Um, that was the end of last year. They ran a um, piece, the top 100 most influential people in online fashion. And I was lucky enough to rank number 10. Number 10! Wow! How how did you get that ranking then? What have you done to acquire that position, Um, as it were? Oh, my God. Lots and lots of champagne drinking at (laughs) fashion parties. (laughs) Mostly mostly schmoozing. Generally getting too drunk and going to parties that I'm not invited to. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Just going, hello, darling. So no styling at all, then, whatsoever? (laughs) Not much styling at all. No. no. Okay. (laughs) Lots of hard work. Right. Um, (laughs) Now... Um, what advice would you give me uh, to become a fashion stylist? What, what what would you say are the main tips, Jordan? You might have to ditch the chinos, darling. What? <laughs> I've got I thought chinos they were in. Are they the not moment. in anymore? Well, they're in. We're going to be discussing them later, I think. What, my what? chinos? Hang on a minute. Can I just check, though? Cause I've I've got... Got... What about the plum-coloured ones? Because everyone seems to be wearing I've them. I've got plum-coloured you... ones. I have plum-coloured ones as well. Right. I think that's an exception. It's the mustard-coloured, sandy They're not ones. much. These are just sandy. Oh, right. What about the denim shirt, though? This is in, isn't it? I'm loving a bit of denim yeah, shirts. Thanks. Has yeah. denim ever been out? It's always yeah, been in, hasn't never. it? Has, has it? it? Um, no, I love denim. Since about right. 1973, it's always been in, hasn't it? Mm, right. Anyway, so I've got to ditch my chinos. <laughs> Well, I, the, Not thing, now. the thing is, <laughs> yeah. the, the thing is, when you call them chinos, mm. it, it does make them sound quite unfashionable. <laughs> I'd call them trousers. They are no, chinos. chinos. The problem with them, they're so fashionable. Everyone has them on. Right. That's oh, we, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. That yeah. so they don't stand out. They don't stand out. They would if they were plum. Oh, oh I should have worn my plum mm. ones. Plum ones. I did think of my plum ones this morning oh. in the wardrobe. I was like, look, I might put them on, but I didn't. <laughs> Enough about fingering plums. Can I just ask you a personal question? Of course you can. <laughs> on air. You Why said not? it. Then me, Just because it popped into my head. Have you ever dumped anyone because they have no fashion sense? <gasps> Uh, would you? I've probably been dumped because I have no fashion no. sense. No, but I don't know. I've never done... No, I'm not that shallow. Okay. I commit too many crimes of fashion right. to be a judge, to be honest. So okay. you're wearing ripped jeans. Are they still in? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it was very early when I got up this morning. I didn't realise they were ripped, actually. It just <laughs> happened on the bus. Yes. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. On I got them the caught on a screw. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, hey, Jordan, hey. Right, we're going to be talking fashion disasters shortly, right? We are. But, but before we do that, hey, you know every fashionista, right? Yeah. Every fashionista should have their own perfume, right? Yeah. Mm. So yesterday I made an advert um, for my own perfume. Do you want to hear it? Amazing. OK, here we hey. go. This is my perfume advert. Introducing the holidays. Ooh, whiffy, strong like an ox. Tangy. Gentle like a sea breeze. Windy. Sensuous. Can anyone else smell beef? <laughs> Deep. Like a fat fryer. Introducing. The holidays. Ooh. Whiffy. <laughs> Ooh, feel a bit gippy. <laughs> there we go. Close up there. Amazing. Yeah? I'm actually that's, crying. That's the smell of the north, I think. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, oh, then. 
So um, up next, uh, Jordan, stay where you are, please. We're going to talk fashion disasters. Me, by the sounds of it, in the chinos this morning. <laughs> it's 8.44, it's Gadio. We're on 88.4 FM across Manchester. Online as well, gadio.co.uk. More music for you.